Hey guys, so my washing machine just came today. I'm really, really excited. So I'm gonna take you guys through everything. I'm gonna show you how it looks, unbox it, and I have like a couple things to wash. So we're gonna see how this is. Okay, unclipped this. Okay, honestly, um, for scale, this is what it looks like. This is uh, how it came. And it's actually super light. Um, it's really not heavy at all. Okay, so this was actually extremely easy to take out of the box. I literally just lifted it up and took off some plastic. There's still a little bit more on here, but... Um, yeah, so this is it. I'm gonna go set this up in my bathroom and get to work. I'm looking to see if there are directions. I heard online that it didn't come with directions. Uh, and it looks like that is the case for mine as well. Nothing at the bottom of the box here. And nothing attached to the styrofoam. Which is great. I hate reading directions. So let's try it. I had to grab an extension cord with um, three prongs. Oh, I grabbed uh, one of these. The cord is actually pretty short. So this is where the white cord starts. And even if I put it in my tub, as you can see, it's just not gonna reach all the way over there. Honestly, guys, I'm not gonna bother with the hose they gave. I don't even know where I put it. Oh, I put it on my toilet. They gave me the hose and this hose here is supposed to be able to connect to your sink, to the um, machine here. You see that little hole? But I already know that my my bathroom sink is not gonna fit this. So I'm just gonna use my shower head because I got other things to do and I'm not trying to complicate my life. Okay, so I'm gonna start. I've got my clothes prepped over there. I'm only gonna do, um, this little bit. I know that looks like a lot, but it's really not that much. So I'm gonna start by, ooh, wait. Actually, I need to turn on my shower head first. Please hold. <laughs> All right, shower head is on. Um, I'm just gonna change the setting. Ooh, and it reaches perfectly. <laughs> Look at that. Amazing. All right. Let's put some detergent in there. Okay. All right. And this is good, too, because the water in my house gets real hot. Okay, wait, I'm gonna change the setting back for a second because I want this to get fuzzy. By the way, I got this little combo on Amazon too. Um, this uh, shower head combo was on Amazon. I'll um, add the link to it. And I also got this little basket on Amazon. Uh, I think I shop on Amazon way too much, but you know what, it's the future, so whatever. So I'm gonna roll this into my bathroom. Um, and I'm gonna start loading it in. See how much can fit in there. All right, so this is actually really great because I forgot to wash all of my bras last week. Does anybody do that? They like forget to get all their bras out of the drawer. I do that a lot, more often than I'd like to admit. So that's it. That's all that I'm gonna do for this little load. So I'm just kind of like letting that fill up and it's not like all the way at the top, as you guys can see. Feeling really good about this, guys. Thrilled. Uh, 
So yeah, this would have been stupid if I tried to do this outside of my tub. I think some people have, they've done it outside of uh, their tub, but I just, you know, why? Why make things complicated? Okay, honestly, I think that's enough water. Okay, so I'm gonna close that. Um, the only annoying part so far is I tried to take some plastic off, but I didn't get all of it. Um, but I'm a little too excited, so I'll I'll get all the plastic later. And even some of it's on the inside here. Uh, so uh, anyway, okay, wash timer. So there's it's like super simple. So I guess I'll go with twelve. Why not? Fuck it, right? Or should I go for fifteen? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, it stopped. Wait. Oh. Uh, oh my god. I guess it, you know what these are kind of my delicate so I'm gonna turn it to soft I guess what I should do right yeah so this is amazing this is incredible oh my god I don't know if it stops when you open it or if it's just stopping on its own let's let's see okay it's stopping on its own so I think it keeps going from one direction to the next This is the best purchase I've ever made in my fucking life. Ever. Ever! Okay, so the timer is on six minutes now, and I just want to show you guys that um, some of the things that I have put on the bottom have surfaced to the top. So this is actually spinning really well. So the stuff on top wasn't just sitting on top, it's actually moving through all of the water. So that's really good. Okay, it stopped. And so this is the hose, right? So it hasn't actually leaked anything, which was great. I watched it the whole time. And it doesn't look like anything leaked in my tub either. So this is pretty solid. So the washing cycle just stopped, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit drain. I don't know, can I go the other way? Ugh. Ugh. Okay. And so it looks like it actually, like, obviously that water's not clear. Not to say, like, I'm dirty or anything, but, like, you know, it obviously got the clothes clean. So, very happy about this. Very happy. So it's actually draining pretty quickly. Look at that. Okay, pro tip, maybe don't be like me and move your fucking shower curtain out of the way because that look a little crazy. <laughs> Probably going to have to rinse that in a second. But again, just like showing you, like it's actually getting clothes clean. Okay, it looks like it's done draining almost. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to rinse that shower curtain. Okay, so that's all gone. Great, excellent. So guys, I just wanna let you know, I did tilt the machine this way just a little bit, just to kind of get any excess water out. And let's see if anything else come in. And it just a little bit, you guys saw that, just came. So it's fine. Uh, it, just to get any excess, I just want you guys to know I did that. Okay, so now I'm just repeating the process. So just like a regular washing machine, you have a rinse cycle. So I'm filling it up again, and I'm probably just gonna do maybe like six minutes or so to rinse. And then um, put, everything in the spinner here in a minute. Ah! Okay, well, listen. I'm trying to multitask and being stupid. Other pro tip, turn the knob back to standard because I had it on drain this whole time, so all the water that was going in was going out. So that was stupid. So I filled it back up with water, closing it, and I'm just gonna put this on six. And so this is what I was talking about. When you're ready to rinse it, take it off drain and hit it back to standard because, uh, yeah, you don't want to waste your time like me. So it's been on the rinse cycle for like a couple minutes now, I guess like three minutes or so. And so it's kind of a little sudsy still because it's rinsing. But as you can guys see, not as sudsy as it was before when I was on the washing cycle. Okay, guys, the rinse cycle has stopped, so I'm closing that going back to drain 
and just repeating the process. So the water looks a lot clearer this time, as you can see. Yay, no more dirty clothes. I'll show you guys over there. And okay, um, I just wanna add, I'm not dirty. It's just that the water in my building is super harsh and creates a fucking chemical reaction to this bullshit. So anyone who lives in the tri-state knows this is just how things go. But anyway, focus on the water, it's clean, okay? Okay, so now here comes the part I've been a little skeptical about. Oh, are these instructions? Well, I'll go figure, whatever. Anyway, listen, we're having fun here. So I'm gonna put this to the side. This is, I think, for the top of the clothes. I, I've watched so many people's reviews, I pretty much like know the situation by now. So as you guys can see, the spinner is much smaller than the actual washing portion. So you're not gonna be able to fit everything in there. So I'm probably going to have to do this two or three times. Um, so I'm just going to start with this is like a dress. Ooh, a dress might need to just be by itself. Lord. Um, maybe I'll try to put some other light things in there with it. So we've got a dress and a couple shirts in there right now. I'm not sure which is the top of this. So this is Okay, I think I have to put that on the inside. Okay, there we go. So, closing that, closing this, and spinner time. Okay, that dress is heavy, so I'm gonna go for five minutes. Oh shit, ah, it's moving, it's moving. Okay, it's stabilized, it has stabilized. <laughs> but still like vibrating a little bit, so. Uh, <laughs> like literally moving. Maybe I'll just like move this all the way to the end of my sink so it can't go anywhere. But not super super loud and I don't think with the uh, dryer you can open it. So I don't want to fuck it up so I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to let it do its thing. Okay the thing has stopped. So let's see how dry it actually got. Wow. Wow. I'm actually really impressed. I'm actually super, super impressed. It's obviously not like ready to wear dry, but I mean, wait, let me, I need my cart. My bathroom has become such a mess actually right now between me spilling my water everywhere um but wow this is actually pretty dry this is actually really light so this probably wouldn't even need much time to kind of just air dry let's see this dress whoa you guys saw how heavy that dress was right it was like sopping wet or soaping wet how do you actually pronounce that word but wow oh my god these clothes are more dry than like regular spin cycle from the wash. Like me having to hang this dress from my regular wash, it would be a lot more wet. It, it, this is much drier than normal. So the washer from my basement probably would have had that dress like 60 to 70% dry, but this little spinner thingy, put it like you know now it's like 80 to 90 percent dry so this you guys see this you guys see this right this is a heavy sweater it's super super heavy so i'm gonna plop that in there um let's see if i can get everything else in there i might get lucky y'all i might get lucky okay I'm putting everything else in there okay so I got it in two. Okay, so that just finished. I'm gonna see how this sweater came out. Um, but just wanna let you guys know, I put in a second load. Um, I put in a pair of jeans and like just some sweatpants and socks and another like cotton dress. So I'm really interested to see how well it gets the jeans. In the meantime, let's check on my sweater. Bras are actually pretty good. So is the underwear. Don't need all that on camera. Okay, I'm mostly interested in showing you guys the sweater. 
this is uh, the result of the sweater. Wow. Just pretty good. Pretty good, guys. This is, it's like just lightly damp, just lightly. But otherwise, you know, just hanging on a rack would be fine. Guys, this is an amazing investment. I think that you should get one immediately. Immediately! Update, second load. Started making a little whistling sound. Not sure what it is. Not sure. I'm not sure if that's a machine or something scraping against the inside. I don't know. I don't know. I'll try to find out in a second. It just stopped. So nothing to worry about. So I'm all set guys. So I want to show you where I've placed it just for scale. I put it here. It fits, uh, ironically, in my bathroom. I actually didn't think it would. I was thinking about putting it here, but I felt like that might be annoying. It did fit and I was able to open the bathroom, but my boyfriend's pretty tall and I don't want his knees to be brought up against this. So I'll leave it here for now. Um, I mean, there are a few places in my apartment I could put it, but I don't know. Figure, I guess uh, this works until I decide to put it elsewhere. So, yeah. Wait, sorry. I'm also doing another video with um, that iPhone feature where you like, it, you know, gives you the whole room for scale. So this is just, you know, how it looks. So not horrible, but little tight but I could sit down and I'm fine so I'm just hanging out my clothes here and um, the only thing I'm nervous about is that I had some t-shirts from forever 21 and the neckline is a little stretched on both of the shirts so I'm gonna show it to you this is supposed to be a v-neck and so it got stretched I'm not sure if it was stretched in the wash or the spinner I'm gonna assume the spin Part of me wants to believe that I can revive this with the iron. Um, I mean, it really wasn't a very expensive shirt. Uh, but here is a better example. You guys see how that hemline got stretched? So, you know, maybe we could see what the iron can do. But that seems to be the only downfall of this product. Maybe not best for super delicate cottons you probably might stretch it more than you want to but uh other than that it's not really an expensive item I can replace it if I need to but I think the iron should fix it check out this video that video or go ahead and subscribe <laughs> thanks for watching guys bye